Franklin announced something really a lot in the city have been saying for months now. The way homeless camps are cleaned and removed right now, it isn't working. We pinpointed that in our series, is Portland over? Well, now they're putting new guidelines in place. Lindsay Nadrit's going beyond the headlines with news that people have been waiting to hear. What's this about, Lindsay? Well, between March and July of 2020, the city stopped cleaning up homeless camps because of CDC guidance designed to stop the spread of COVID-19. Before the pandemic, they were cleaning up roughly 50 campsites per week. Now they average five. This new guidance aims to speed things up. Even after removing hundreds of thousands of pounds of garbage and providing outreach services, a city memo says staff found that homeless encampments returned to a state of non-compliance within a matter of days, if not hours, depending on the location. That's something many of us have witnessed driving around Portland. The number and size of many homeless camps have increased. For example, the city says a camp at Northeast 60th and Prescott blocked ADA accessibility for weeks and heard from people who said there was no way they could safely use the sidewalks to get groceries or prescriptions. The city also identified several natural areas where people are leaving hazardous material, cutting down trees to use for burning or building material and causing extensive environmental damage. Multnomah County Health Officer Dr. Jennifer Vines also says there are health issues that need to be addressed. You know, having people outside, having debris build up, having poor access to um, to hygiene or to bathroom facilities, um, not having a, a safe way to dispose of freshly used syringes. Those are all genuine health considerations. Starting Monday, the impact reduction team will post 48 hour warnings for people to leave, but will no longer post the extra 24 hour warnings they were issuing to high impact locations. Campsites are considered high impact if they have eight or more structures, untreated sewage, present a public health risk, are considered a fire hazard, block public access, impede regular operations at a school, or have verified reports of violence or criminal activity. These new guidelines start Monday and are similar to what was being done before the pandemic. I also asked how these new guidelines will impact the large homeless camp at Laurelhurst Park. The city said elected officials are still in conversations about how to move forward with that encampment. Reporting live, I'm Lindsay Natterch, Coin 6 News.